I'm always so pleased to be given a microphone because I can't tell you uh, how passionate I am about the Pickering Cancer Drop-In Centre. There are so many people here tonight that have been special, special friends to the Pickering Cancer Drop-In Centre. We are a charity that is totally self-funding. We get absolutely no support from the government or from the NHS, but boy oh boy do we support them. In fact, they send so many people to us for counselling because all of our therapists are volunteers as well. Nobody gets paid and that's the way I like it. Thank you so, so much for supporting us. I hope you all have a wonderful evening. You all deserve it. Hello. Hey, you. Oh, hugs you. <laughs> Good. Thank you, Polly. Right, Hello, everyone. Woo! Um, right, first of all, it's, it's great to be here. Last year, I was sitting on my sofa taking photos of the um, fireworks going off at London Eye and tweeting my friends, pretending I was there. So um, this time, it's great to actually be out and celebrating. Eleven years ago, as most of you know, I won my two gold medals in Athens. Eventually. Um, is a link and I know Polly won't mind me mentioning this Polly had a chat with me I met Polly a, a, a while ago and Polly actually said in 2004 she got her second gold medal as well and I tell you why it's because it's the second time that she actually um, managed to battle through cancer and got through it so Polly yeah. deserves a round of applause as much as I do for the fight that it takes to um, survive such you know awful disease so and Polly's done a fantastic a uh, job for charity, and I'm a dame, but Polly definitely deserves a dame, right? Yeah. So we're going to go for that. So, uh, <laughs> oh, hold on a minute. <laughs> the only dame I need to be is in the pantomime. <laughs> <laughs> I've led. But no, um, it's just great to be here, and you know I'm a local girl, always support as much as I can. It's great to be invited down here. Have a great night tonight. I know I'm coming to celebrate the new year in with you all, but I just want to say, you know, it's really nice to support charity. I've been supporting charities for about 15 years, have my own, and hopefully in the future I'll be able to do more and probably connect with uh, Pickering as well. Um, <laughs> and I will actually say this, because I don't normally do anything but announce things when I'm local, is that for the first year ever, remember I'm a middle distance runner, which means I run a very short distance quite fast. I'm actually going to do, uh, hopefully, all being well and no injuries for once, the London Marathon, but what I'm going to do... I'm actually going to do it for a split of charities. My own national charity, the Dame Cleomas Trust, supporting disadvantaged young people. The Hospice and Wield, which is over in... Which I, yeah, my, my coach, Dave Arnold, died to the second year of my... second anniversary of my gold medal, so obviously very, very uh, passionate to me. My Loma um, uh, Cancer Trust, which my mother, unfortunately, is suffering from my Loma, but has just survived it through going through her brilliant treatment. And I'm actually... At this point, I'm going to announce I also do it for um, Polly's charity, The Pickering. So, if you... Uh, <laughs> I, oh, I am obviously so going to be trying to do as much fundraising as possible to break all the barriers. So if you ever see anything going out, it's all for charity. That's all I ever do anyway. I'm going to support four charities running with a multi-coloured vest. So if you please see anything on... Um, I don't know, just give in or anything locally, please, please, please put your hands in your pockets because it's going to go to some great charities. Thank you very much. Have a great night. Thank you, Billy Holmes. Yeah, we're definitely all back together.